Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about, well it's going to be another DIY video. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about face masks. I love, love a good face mask. And just like my DIY sugar scrubs video, personally I think it's much more cost efficient and much healthier on your skin if you make your own face masks at home because you know what's going into them and it's not going to be any you know sulfates or silicones or anything like that they're going to be all natural ingredients from your kitchen so i'm going to be giving you guys five diy face masks that you can make for yourself at home with things you probably already have in your kitchen if you have never used a face mask before, it's basically just a treatment for your skin. Depending on what you want your specific face mask to do, you would use different ingredients. So there's moisturizing face masks, there's face masks that you can use for exfoliation, face masks that you can use to fade acne scars, all kinds of things. So I will be giving you the ingredients and then telling you a little bit about what the face mask will actually do for your skin. Also, making your own face mask means that you can customize the mask that you want to fit your skin's needs. So if you have really dry skin, you know that you're going to want to use um, ingredients that will put moisture back into your skin. Things like honey or glycerin, which are really moisturizing ingredients, you would want to put that in your face mask. Before we jump in, I just want to remind you all that if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss another upload because I upload videos every single day, and you don't want to miss out on that. So without further ado, let's get into these DIY face masks. The first face mask is a honey and turmeric face mask. This mask is really good for people who have acne prone skin or a lot of acne scarring or just have some problem areas that they want to clear up on their skin. Turmeric is really good at fighting against acne and it's also used to speed up healing. Turmeric is also really helpful in preventing and treating rosacea. The only thing that I will say about this mask is that you should be careful because turmeric can stain um, your clothes and your skin so you really want to be extra careful with this mask because there's a it will definitely stain your clothes it might stain your face if you leave it on too long so like I said just just be careful after you are done using this face mask you are gonna want to cleanse your skin because it might leave a slight yellow tint don't worry it's not permanent but I do recommend cleansing your skin after using this mask and you will find all of the ingredients and the recipes for this mask in the description box below so make sure you check that out. The next face mask on our list is a deep pore cleansing face mask. For those of you who have really oily skin this would be a really good face mask for you. Uh, what I like most about this mask is that it really cleanses and gets down deep into your pores and can also help make them look smaller which is really good for people with oily skin. This mask is also really good for um, restoring the pH balance of your skin. I like to use this mask just before I go to sleep because it's also really good for helping with cell regeneration which as you may know happens while you're asleep. The next face mask, the next face mask is avocado and honey face mask. In case you do not already know, honey is so amazing for your skin because it is a natural humectant, which means that it grabs moisture, please excuse my armpits, <laughs> it grabs moisture out of the air which is really good, especially if you live in drier climates and your skin and hair need all the moisture that they can get. Avocado is really great for smoothing your skin and it also has a lot of moisturizing properties as well. The next, next face mask is probably another one of my favorites because I do have acne prone skin and it is papaya and lemon. Some of these sound really delicious. <laughs> Papaya is a fantastic way to 
um, clear up any acne you might have because it is a very effective but very gentle exfoliant. Papaya is also great for smoothing up the skin and preventing wrinkles. Lemon is really great for improving any acne scarring that you might have because it had a bleh, because it has lightening properties. This can also work on your hair. If you want a way to naturally lighten your hair, you can use lemon to do it. This is an exfoliating mask, so it's definitely not something that I would use every single day. Um, I would say maybe once or twice a week, depending on how often you feel your skin needs to be exfoliated. So the last face mask on our list is the hydrating face mask. I use this a lot because I do have very dry skin um, around my cheek areas and on my forehead and it works really really great for me. This mask is also really great if um, your skin peels a lot. This will help take care of that. Something I didn't mention before about avocado is that they also have a lot of great antioxidants that are really good at helping to heal your skin. Olive oil is also great for moisturizing your hair and skin. <laughs> Olive oil is also really great for deep cleansing, which means it'll really get down into your pores. And I know that sounds a little counterproductive, like washing your or cleaning your face with olive oil because doesn't oil break you out not necessarily even though there is oil in this face mask i believe that it works really well for all different skin types but i wouldn't recommend using it more than twice per week just so that you don't overwhelm your skin with all the oil and all the moisture well you guys that is it for this video i hadn't done a skincare video in a while so i really wanted to get something up for you guys. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be expanding the range of topics on my channel because as a beauty blogger, I believe that you have to cover all topics that pertain to beauty. So it's not just makeup, it's not just hair, it's not just skin, it's also health, wellness, fitness, fashion, so I'm still going to be doing my makeup tutorials, I'm still going to be doing my hair videos and all of that, but I'm also going to be expanding more and talking about other things like, you know, fitness. A lot of you guys have been asking about my weight loss journey, you know, what my diet is like, stuff like that. So I'm going to be talking about that. I'm also going to do some fashion videos. I'm not quite sure what videos I'm going to do yet, but I am going to branch into that as well so those videos will be coming and I'm so sorry about not getting a video up yesterday this weekend was really insane but we are back to our regularly scheduled programming and there will be a new video every single day so if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss another upload ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.